All right, so this is part two of the rail car on air trailer built. It was originally this long, and you can see where the old spring shackles were right here. So the axle was right here. Um, lengthened it about twice as long, dovetailed the back end and uh, took the springs out and put some airbags underneath it with a four link suspension. Uh, I was able to put the uh, all the wiring from the big tail into the frame. Hit it with these little covers here so all the wiring is inside nice and neat. Added this side marker light to match the front one and uh, I had to cut these old tail lights off and weld them back on they're not perfectly plumb but good enough good enough for me anyways uh, originally the fenders were in too far and the car didn't fit found that out the hard way um, and uh, back to the lights we have some little marker lights on the side here they're actually tail and uh, brake so they blink when the flashes are on get your attention when it's down would hate it if somebody wrapped their shin on that and tripped so trying to keep it as safe as possible anyways let's have a look inside and show you how this thing works so you get a couple of gauges one is regulated on the left the other one on the right is uh, in the tank, in the air tank inside. Got a couple switches. This one's a three-way down, lowers the bags, up, raises the bags, and the middle is off. This one's just off and on. And I have this switch wired up to these lights, for work lights. When it's down, it's wired so the backup lights on the truck will activate these. And when it's up, Voila, we have light inside the box. Nice big battery, compressor, gallon and a half of air, a winch. Got a wired tether in case the uh, remote fails. And um, really not much storage left in here after all this stuff is in here. But uh, let's see how this thing works. So I'm going to, the switch is already on. I'm going to hit the button down. I'm going to dump the bag. For easy loading, could pull the winch out, drag it up on. I had to do a little fancy cutaway work here because I had to separate the fenders so much. They're really close to the tires. Um, this kept hitting, so I cut a hole and then snipped it straight so it'll work good. And uh, here she is, slammed to the ground. Now if I come over here, flick the switch off and then up, the air compressor is going to come on, but she's going to fill right up. Nice quick with no air on, uh, no weight on it. And uh, shut that off now. It's noisy. That's about it. So if you missed part one, this is kind of a little bit of part one and part two. Fixed the issues I had and uh, got her good to go. Pretty happy. Now I need a season to uh, <laughs> get away from all this snow and put her on the rails. Really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.